So this is question number 49 from 2022 JAM paper, Mathematics. Uh, so given yx is a solution of the differential equation, so differential equation is given over here, uh, the interval is 0 to infinity and such that the limit x at 0 plus yx at x and y1 equal to 1, we have to find the value of y prime 1, that is the first derivative at x equal to 1. So we have this uh, equation over here, x square y down prime x square y prime minus 4y x square. So we can rewrite this equation as uh, so it will be d prime right? you can write it in this way d prime d minus 1 plus d prime minus 4 y is equal to x square right so from simplify you can get that's d prime square minus 4 y equal to x square <coughs> so from here what will be the d prime so d prime is equal to plus minus 2 so we can write the cf from here If we consider, suppose this x square, if we consider this x square as e to the power 2z, so we will just replace this by e to the power 2z, right? Here it is also e to the power, right? So what will be the CF? CF will be C1 e to the power 2z plus c2 e to the power minus 2z. Okay. So it can also be simply done as c1 x square plus c2 x to the power minus 2. Right. What will be the pi? It will be 1 by d dash square minus 4 e to the power 2 z right so if we put the 2 over here so it will be minus 4 will cancel so we will do so we will do this e to the power 2 z so we can do this as d dash plus 2 whole square minus 4 in this way we can write it into So here we can do simplify this e to the power 2z 1 by d dash square plus 40. We can write it in this manner. Also, we can uh, just write it that d dash take common d dash plus 40. Right. So if you do the d dash over here, so what you will get? Uh, the integration so e to the power 2z comma z 1 by d dash plus 4. Okay. Or we can also write, so if we take 4 common out of here, so it will be 1 by 4, e to the power 2z z 1 plus d dash by 4 whole inverse right okay. we can write it in this manner and if we expand this how we will uh, 1 by 4 if we expand that series to the power 2z comma uh, multiply the z so we can write it as 1 minus d prime by 4 plus of d prime by 4 whole square plus right so now 
will multiply by z. So what we will get? 1 by 4, it will be 2z. So it will be z minus 1 by 4. Okay. Derivative of first derivative of z is 1 by 4, 1, 1 by 4. So it is t derivative square. We don't know this term. So it will be simplified like this. Uh, so this is the simplified form 1 by 4 uh, e to the power 2 z z minus 1 by 4. So we can put the value of x over here. So what we have taken. So x square by 4 ln x right z will be ln x minus 1 by 4. So what will be the general solution of this equation? So y equal to C1 x square plus C2 x to the power minus 2 plus x square plus 4 ln x minus 1 by 4. This is the solution. Now we know that for y equal to 1, it is 1 x, x, is, uh, x is equal to 1. Okay, so we will put the value. So what we get y equal to 1 x is equal to 1 c1 plus c2 plus 1 by 4 into minus 1 by 4. So, we have this c1 plus c2 is equal to 17 by 16, right? That we got c1 plus c2. Now, as limit, here we have the thing that as limit x tends to 0 plus y should exist right so 0 plus it will be 0 so it will be c2 limit x tends to 0 plus 1 by x square plus c okay so for x tends to 0 plus this should exist y exists the function y exists so for x tends to 0 plus this will also exist. So in our case c2 will be 0, right? C2 will be simply 0 because as x tends to 0 plus y of x will exist. Okay. So now why can uh, how, uh, can write this equation as this y equal to 17 by 16 x square plus of x square by 4 ln of 1 by 4. Now do the first derivative because you have to find y prime at 1 value 1. So what would it be? So this is 17 by 8 x plus x by 2 okay ln x minus 1 by 4 plus x by because ln is 1 by x so x square by 4 it will be x s cancel x x square cancel x will be there 4 will be there okay so from here we can Simplify it further. So we have the x ln x by 2 plus of 18x by 8. Or it can be more simplified, you can want to write it. So x of ln x by 2 plus 9 by 4x. Okay. 9 by 4x. Now for y equal to 1, so we want to find, we have to find the y prime at 1. So it will be x of ln x, it will be 0 plus of 9 by 4. Okay. So 9 by 4 uh, is written as 2.2. So, uh, we have to find the y value of 1. So, this value of y1, uh, y prime 1 is equal to, though it's rounded off to two decimal places. So, it will be 2.2. Okay. So, this is 
the question number 49. So question number 50 is saying that consider the family F1 of carbs lying in the region. So this is the family of carbs. This x y it belongs to this R2 where y is greater than 0 and x belong uh, ranges between 0 to pi. So where y is given by this equation and let f2 be the family of orthogonal trajectories to f1. We have considered the curve C belonging to the family of f2 passing to the point pi 3 comma 1, pi by 3 comma 1 if a is a real number such that pi by 4 comma a lies on this curve C then we have to find the value of it. Okay. So, uh, so we have pi of C of 1 minus cos x by Okay. To find the orthogonal trajectory, so first we what we have to do, we have to do the derivative of this. Okay. This dy so let's find that so uh, put c outside. So it will be sine square x minus of cos x one. minus of minus of cos x 1 minus cos x divided by sin square x that is one thing. so we can further simplify it as c of 1 minus cos x by sin square x. So if we want to find the value of c from here, what will be? So c equal to sin square x by 1 minus cos x dy dx. Okay. Now, if we put the value of c in the equation, y is equal to then sin square x by 1 minus cos x dy dx into 1 minus cos x by sin x. That will be the same. So, here 1 minus cos x will cancel out and sin term will be given. So, we can write it as y equal to sin x dy dx right we can write it like this way so we have to find the orthogonal trajectory so for the orthogonal trajectory what we will have to do so this will be replaced by minus of dx dy that is the orthogonal trajectory okay so if we write this as an equation, uh, suppose y is now written as sine of x minus of dx dy. So, this is very easy from here that y of dy is there and minus of sine x dx is also there. If we take integration on both sides. So, what will happen? So, it will be y square by 2, okay, cos x plus c, we can write it like this one. So, we, uh, we have only taken c, so it will be c1. So, we have the condition that pi by 3 comma 1 is already because, so that is the curve c. So, from here if we put this pi by 3 half, so y square 1, so it is half, so c1 is equal to c. So, what our equation will be? It will be just simply y of y square equal to 2, 2 of cos x. Okay. So, now check with the interval that we have given pi by 4 comma a and we have to value the value of 8 to the power 4. So, put the value of 
this two values so it is a square and cos of pi by 4 so put it as a to the power 4 so it will be 4 half 2 so our value for a to the power 4 is 2 it is round to 2 decimal places to 2.0 So we can write it as value of e to the power 4 is 2.6. Uh, we can write it Okay, so this is question number 50.